Hello everyone, I'm George from Ireland and I'm outside Spencer House in London. There you can see it behind me. So it's so called because it was built for um, Earl Spencer. Um, it's commissioned in 1756. Earl being an um, aristocratic title, it's not a boy's name um, in this country. So um, he was a, a Whig aristocrat, the two major parties of the Whigs and the Tories in that time. Um, so unusually, the um, surname and the title are the same. The guy's name was John Spencer, his title was Earl Spencer. Usually if you get um, an aristocratic title, it, that your title relates to a place. Like your name, your name could be Joe Bloggs and your Lord of wherever. You know, just wherever being the place. But in this case, the surname and the the, the title are the same. Um, and then there's a there's a courtesy title, Viscount Althorpe, as in the uh, eldest son of of Earl Spencer is Viscount Althorpe, because they've got a um, family seat at Althorpe, which I think which I think is in Norfolk. So the current um, person who holds the title Earl Spencer, he's the ninth Earl Spencer, because of course it goes from father to son. If there's more than one son, it goes to the eldest son, and only those born within wedlock can inherit it. And um, his, his sister, the current Earl Spencer, was the late Princess Diana. Um, can remember she was Lady Diana Spencer. So, more about um, Spencer House. Anyway, it's meant to be in, a, in um, an Athenian style. You see some Grecian features. If you go inside, you can see more. It's open to, to um, uh, tours several times a year. I think even higher out its, its rooms, if you want to have a party, something like that, it would cost a pretty penny. We're in St. James's, which is very central in London. We're only about a quarter of a mile from St. James's Palace. St. James's Palace being the... Um, official residence of the British royal family. It's not Buckingham Palace, even though that's very close by. St. James's Palace is much smaller, older, hokey, and rather unimpressive. But nonetheless, that is their official residence, even though they don't, they don't spend any time there. Um, so in the late 18th century into the 19th century, a lot of political soirées were held here. But the Spencer family, apart from in recent years, wasn't really prominent, apart from Princess Diana. Um, anyway, so this was their townhouse, and their, their country retreat um, was uh, in, in Norfolk, um, as I said, very close to Sandringham, one of the royal family's private residences in, in um, Norfolk. And indeed, the royal family, bizarrely, had no swimming pool at Sandringham, used to go and use the Spencers one next close by, which is how the Prince of Wales, Prince Charles, got to know Diana when she was an adolescent. Um, so uh, back to this place. And what's more, so then about 1885 they began leasing it out to various people um, and uh, British Oxygen Company was there, the um, Economist magazine, their intelligence unit was here. These things were remarkably cheap to rent until the last, they say, 30 years. Astonishing, somewhere so central, so historic, that the Economist magazine, which isn't that huge, doesn't sell that many copies, could afford to rent it. And then um, Lord Rothschild's got it on a 96-year lent, although he's quite, rent, sorry, at least, at least he's quite a few years into that. Um, and his family's company's RIT Capital. So Lord Rothschild, I don't think he actually lives here, but he could do if he wanted to, maybe uses some of the rooms. He's, he's the, 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 the you know, secular head of Anglo Jewry, even though he's only about a quarter Jewish himself and not particularly religious, but a, a prominent figure. Um, and uh, Neil Mahapatra used to be his right hand man, who now runs Kingsley Capital. Anything else about say about the Rothschilds? Well, they arrived from Germany in the late 18th century. His surname used to be, was really Rothschild as in red sign, or possibly red shield, because they had some red sign hanging from their shop in Germany. They had a, a banking family which had branches in several European countries. Anyway, it's open to the public. You can have a tour sometime. So that is, uh, that is Spencer House. And then just over there, that is uh, Green Park right there, but you can't get through just here. That's enough for me. Toodaloo.